Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I want to talk about something that is very fascinating to me, and that is additive manufacturing. So I've been doing additive manufacturing since my very early days in the Marine Corps. It's actually thanks to the Marine Corps that uh, I even got into it. And that is because the Marine Corps has been experimenting with 3D printing and how it can be applied to its maintenance cycles since early 2017, maybe even earlier, but you know, I've been doing it since 2017 when I deployed uh, with a special purpose MACTAP. Now, before I go any further, I want to, you know, proudly say that I'm fairly confident I was one of the first Marines to take a 3D printer to Afghanistan back at that time. Um, don't quote me on it, but I'm fairly certain I was, you know, the first. My uh, maintenance officer at the time, he was very much uh, trying to prove 3D printers out in the field. So he gave me a Pelican case, he shoved the 3D printer in there, and he said, go test it out, go see what you can do. So, you know, that's a that's a, an accomplishment right there in itself. Up until the actual deployment, we were receiving special training. We flew out to Maryland. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Syscom that's out there. They gave us the, they gave us a run through on how to use a slicer, how to 3D print, how to use CAD. They pretty much gave us a one week long crash course on 3D printing. This was pretty much the foundation of what I do today and my 3D printing shop that I have. That small amount of training that I received has carried me all up until now, essentially. During my deployment, I was able to do a lot of cool stuff with the 3D printers we had. One of the coolest things I think I did at that time was uh, reverse manufacture some Raven drone propellers. So the unit that was out in Afghanistan at the time had these Raven drones, but they didn't have an extra supply of the drone propellers. So using SolidWorks, I was able to actually reverse manufacture and try my best to get the, the angle of attack of the propellers and 3D print them a couple of them. Now I can't say for certain if it worked or not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say that they worked. They were, uh, you know, they were just extremely successful. They were they were more tolerant than the than the the blades they already had. So, you know, they after I left, they gave me a uh, they gave me an award, and after my deployment, I got an AM. Not just for that instance, but also for different instances and different stuff we made. I made specialized tools, I made small parts for things that we couldn't really get uh, a hold of, things like that. Now after this deployment, I would not see a 3D printer for at least three more years. And that was up until two years ago when I bought my first personal 3D printer. Now this 3D printer was an Ender 3. This is probably one of the most common 3D printers you can find on the market. It's completely open source, I'm pretty sure, and everybody Everybody and their moms have one. And anybody that does 3D printing will probably start off with an Ender 3. So I'm busting out a lot of fun projects for people in my command, you know, colleagues, friends, uh, senior leadership, just pumping out all sorts of stuff. I do face scans, I do body scans. You know, they send me files on Thingiverse. They say, hey, can you print this out for me? But one day somebody asked me the question, why do you do this for free? And I said, well, I don't know, I mean, it's fun, I like doing it, and it doesn't really cost much. And he's like, no, but you should at least try to break even. You know, just, you don't have to necessarily make a profit, but at least try to break even. I mean, I'm sure your printer isn't free. I'm sure the, the material isn't free. And he's absolutely right. I'm spending material left and right. I'm ordering, you know, two, three spools of filament through Amazon every other week. So I finally put a price tag on my 3D printing. Uh... It slows down a little bit. People are kind of thrown back once I just start saying, sure, I'll 3D print that for you for a price. You know, people are like, oh, well, it's just plastic. All you have to do is hit print. I mean, that, that might be the case, but I am now charging. Anyways, people hit me up. People are still asking for stuff, um, particularly plaque building. People are asking me for the letterings for going away plaques, retirement plaques. They're asking me for little models of equipment. We even made a diorama for my boss's retirement. Uh, I don't know if he liked it. I think he liked it. Uh, I loved it. So, it. You know, some people loved it, so I think he liked it. Finally, I start marketing myself on Facebook Marketplace and people are messaging me. They're asking me for projects left and right. Now, I'm not accepting every single project. Some projects are 
beyond a 3D printer's capability. A 3D printer can't make everything. It could make a, it could probably get away with making the physical model and it could probably get away with making the appearance of whatever you're asking for. But structurally, it might not be the wisest solution. One of the very first projects I did was make these custom brackets for this carpentry business here locally. And he loved it. He he couldn't find the, the brackets, the plastic brackets online anywhere. So he asked me if I could make it. He had a few on hand. I just pulled out my dial calipers and just worked at it on my tablet. And he ordered, I would say, I want to say about 150 of them. And I sold them for 56 cents each. So, you know, you do the math. That's how much I made. Automotive enthusiasts, uh, they're always asking me for custom badges. Uh, I've had at least three or four people ask me for custom badges for their cars. And another one of my personal favorites was helping out a 10 year old for his school project. So I guess he had to make a city that was modeled around a, a product. So his was ice cream land is what he called it. So you might be asking yourself, all right, what's the catch? This sounds all too good to be true. Well, the catch is that it's not easy. Um, you're constantly struggling with failed prints. You're constantly struggling with modeling issues. You're constantly struggling with all sorts of stuff, right? It's not, it's not passive income. It's not something that you just hit print and walk away from. If you yourself have a 3D printer, you know the dreaded delamination. You know the dreaded uh, running out of filament. And I'm sure you know my least favorite, most dreaded uh, filament getting knotted up on the spool. Hello? Hey, Hector, how you doing? I tried calling a second ago. <laughs> and we haven't even touched on the mess. Uh, I would show you the state of this room right now, but it is currently not in the best state. But yeah, 3D printing is a messy, busy, energy intensive endeavor. The last thing that was on my mind when I was flying to Maryland was 3D printing making me money in the in the near future. At the time, I was mostly just mesmerized by the whole process. Albany had metal 3D printers. I was watching them use powder, firing it with lasers and making models. When I flew out to Afghanistan and took a 3D printer with me, you know, that was fun. Personally, I, I like the idea of everybody having a 3D printer in their home. I think it ties into, you know, a self-sufficient society. So, you know, you could make your own, you could build your own. You don't really depend on on these large corporations just pumping out a lot of parts. You could just make it yourself as you need it. And maybe the learning curve can be a little steep, but it's not impossible. I, I wanna say that anybody out there with a little bit of patience can figure out how to 3D print. It, it is not honestly not difficult. All you have to get down is slicer settings, how to operate a 3D printer. And if you wanna make your own stuff, a little bit of CAD and you're solid. From there, it's, you know, the the world is your oyster. But yeah, that pretty much concludes my, my story of how I got into 3D printing and how today I have a small 3D printing shop that I run on the side. It's not booming by no means. I'm not raking in hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but it's something. I could at least say my 3D printers have paid themselves off and now I just have these three tools that, you know, get the job done whenever I need them to. But what do you think about 3D printing? Do you think it's the future of manufacturing? Do you think it's just gonna be another tool in the shed? Let me know. Anyways, thanks, bye.